Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So, now let's, uh, I think, go to the Gerudo Town and see if I can get a quest there, or maybe a few. Actually, that's probably what I need to do, is actually clear quests in different areas. Because, uh, Kakariko, when we did that, when we did all the side quests there, we got a shrine there. I don't know if doing side quests in other places will actually open up anything else for us. Maybe. I could be wrong, but I need to actually go in and check, so. Now, I'm guessing if I'm wearing the Gerudo, uh, Avo outfit, it doesn't let me into the town, right? Oh, wow. Hang on. Is it just me or do I feel faster? Maybe it's just me. I don't know. This doesn't let me in, right? Yeah. Just checking. Okay. So... Quests in... Can I set... Sort... Oh, Gerudo Town. Ten pieces of flint. I can do that. Actually, I can't. No, I can. Sava, uh, Sasaba. Sorry to keep you awake. Uh, sorry you keep coming here with nothing to show for the trip. Without flint, I can't make any accessories, so, I, so the shop is closed for now. Mm. It would be a different story if a kind, generous Vi were to give me ten pieces of flint, though. Here's some flint. Uh... What? You're just giving these to me? <laughs> Sasquo... Sasquo, so... Ah... But, I can't take these all from you with just a... Uh, a... a sock, so... Uh, we hardly know each other, and you've been so nice. The shop's been closed so long, I hardly have any inventory. Oh, of course. Now that I have some flint, uh, I could, I could make a jeweled accessory for you if you're interested in something. Uh, oh, topaz, sapphire. Sapphires have the power to grant heat resistance. So you think you'd like a sapphire circlet? Um, maybe not. Sorry, these ultra show my appreciation, but really, I need to give you something to feel okay about accepting your help. Pick, uh, could you please pick one? Okay, Ruby then. Ruby have the power to grant cold resistance. Would you like a uh, Ruby circlet? Yes, please. <laughs> Dehe, I thought you might pick that one. Please give me a moment. So the circlets, which are crafted with flint and uh, gemstones, have the same properties as other resistant stuff. Brand new, especially for you. I think it turned out really well. But in future, we'll actually have to pay gemstones t and stuff to actually get them, so. And I don't even know if our inventory has enough space for all of the clothing items in the game, which is unfortunate. A headpiece made by Gerudo craft workers. It's set with a ruby, a gem that harnesses the power of fire to make cold climates more bearable. Thanks to you, I got the shop running again. So if you ever need an accessory, please come by for a special discount. Just don't tell all my other customers, okay? So yeah, if we go in here now, we can see that there is different circlets we can buy. If I can actually get them to... There's also earrings that we can get, but... I don't know if it's gonna... I heard you brought some flint for us, little Vi. You're a lifesaver. How about I tell you one of uh, the owner's secrets as a way of saying so. Tell me. The owner claims that she's not doing anything special with her looks, but she actually visits Hotel Oasis once a week. It's always good to remember, if someone says they don't do anything at all to maintain their looks, it's probably not quite true. Can I actually look at these now? Yes I can. Amber earrings, which needs 10 amber. Opal earrings, which needs 8 opal. 
topaz earrings, which needs five topaz. Also, uh, that's just amber earrings is just defense. Opal earrings is swim speed up. Topaz is shock resistance. And then circlets, we have sapphire circlet, which is heat resistance with three sapphires. Ruby circlet, which is three rubies for cold resistance. And diamond circlet, which we already have because we found it. Which is three diamonds for gu guardian resist, resist up. So yeah, that's all of those circlets. Now let's see if there's any other side quests I can do here, possibly. I don't know if there is any, actually. Yeah, it's just Grudo Desert and Grudo other places. We can do the 8th Heroine, though. Uh, and Medicinal uh, Molduga. I have uh, acquired some Molduga guts while we're out in the desert, so... Are you the person who needs it? I'll cue you. I'm, I'm sure I will. Oh, that might be the person, but I have to wait for them to wake up. That's a shame. Well... I don't think there's much I can do. Can I just use this bed? No, it wouldn't be that nice to me. Um... I think, though, if I get out my flame blade... And go over to the cooking fires... I think I can actually sleep here for free. Yeah, morning. Let's do that so we can get this side quest done. Okay. Has the target moved? No, not at all. Oh, look at this cute little vi. I bet you would absolutely love what we have to offer, little one. We're an inn, of course, but we also have a special spa plan, a vacation for mind and body. It's really, really popular, so popular, in fact, that we always have a long line of people waiting to get in. Although, I don't know what uh, it is, but I just feel something special from you. You can cut to the front of the line. Oh, I'm just going on and on. What can I do for you? The nightly rate is 20 rupees, but we also have a special spa plan that would bring the total to 80 rupees. So I'm guessing that's like the better bed stuff. Is this person not going to wake up? Hang on, what does the side quest say? Uh, Melina's husband has fallen ill. He needs the guts of a Molduga in order to get better. The Molduga is furious, a fear, ferocious monster. That's sensitive to the slightest vibration, and it attacks anything it comes near. Uh, the woman is desperately looking for help, but needs someone capable. Um, maybe I can go to midday and hopefully have her wake up by then. The up hours seem to be strange. So how about now? She's moved. Looks like she's closer to the exit place. I'm just gonna go through here, if I can. Oh wow, she's really moved a lot. Please. Oh, it's you. My husband was the first foe to ever tell me I was beautiful. I love him so, and so I need those Molduga guts, no matter what. But what can I do on my own? Yeah, take them. Wait, these? Molduga guts? You... You'll give these to me? Oh, Sasuke. This is all I have to thank you with. But I insist you take it. 300 rupees, okay. This will save him, Sniff. Anyway, medicinal Molduga is complete. So now, there's not many side quests left. Need a few more though. You don't have anything for me, right? No. And I think... Oh, I need to check something quickly in... The... 
big building. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. The yeah, I don't know. The chieftain's house, room, place. Is there a book around here that's going to tell me the troubles of people? I don't think so. Maybe not. Um. Hang on. There's a book up here. Diary of Makia uh, Kila Riju, Chief of the Grudo. Uh, Palera told me yesterday that Mont, um, that mother has passed on and gone to a better place. She said that my mother's death means I am now the chief of the Gerudo people. I wish she would stayed here though. I don't see how it can be a better place with us apart. Ever since I became the chief, the people in town have been, been a lot nicer to me. But if I look carefully, I can still see the worry in their eyes. It seems more common than when Mother was chief. Mother, will I ever be as great a chief as you were? The divine beast Far Naboris, which supposedly has been sleeping in the desert, has suddenly woken up. Mother once told me that Naboris is the deity of protection for the Gerudo people, but it doesn't seem that way. I plan to investigate tomorrow. I have to find out more. Having investigated Divine Beast Farnaboris, I can say that if I, it came to Gerudo Town, we'd be helpless. When I drew close to it, using my wonderful sand seal, Patricia, I was driven back by sandstorm and lightning. I turned Patricia toward home, but a monster spooked her and she fled directly towards Naboris again. The next thing I remember is, uh, Balara standing over me, her face full of worry. Ever since I went to investigate the Divine Beast, uh, Balara has made the po a, a point of never leaving my side. Even now, with such a valuable heirloom stolen by thieves, she refuses to tear herself away from me. For even a moment. She takes all the blame for the theft, however. Nothing can change her mind about being responsible. Meanwhile, I can't help but feel that the thief the theft happened because I am not yet ready to be chief. The soldiers search tirelessly trying to recover the heirloom. No one says a word about my leadership. But they must be thinking about how powerless their chief has proven to be. Thanks to the tireless efforts of my soldiers, we've located the thieves' hideout. They definitely aren't common criminals, though. We haven't been able to get anywhere close to the place. To think that the Thunder Helm is right there, yet we can't take it back. Mother, Lady Obosa, please give me your guidance. That's interesting, I didn't know that information there. My prayers were answered. One of the champions of old has appeared. Uh, Bellara was wary, but he has proven himself by taking our heirloom back from the thieves and calming Naboris. She now seems to trust his abil abilities. She even seems to not mind that he is a vow. She's so focused and serious. Always, by the book. I'm surprised she's okay with him. And that's the end of that. It's not really what I was trying to look for, but it's still very interesting. Also, while we're here... Let me look at this. Halt! That is the treasure of the Gerudo, the Thunderhelm. You may be held in high esteem, but this does not give you the freedom to lay your hands on the pride of our people. Be calm yourself, Balara. You desire this helm? I want it. I see, and yet, despite the great debt we owe you, I cannot just give such an, a precious thing to you. But you are up against the enemy of Lady Obosa. And if you truly desire it, then perhaps I can lend it to you. Yes, lend it to me. Well then, let's see how serious you are. This helm is a cultural treasure. To earn it, you must gain the trust of our people. I want you to address their concerns and bring uh, a resolute peace to our town. So side quest, the Thunderhelm. We already know uh, that you are powerful, but you can't solve all of my people's problems with power alone. A lot happened, but we are truly indebted to you. The champion's arms are treasures of the Grudo, much like the Thunderhelm. 
If anything happens to them, you must let me know immedi immediately. Uh, about that, I'll be back. If you ever find yourself in trouble, you are always welcome to come here. Everyone in this town is your ally now. However, you still mustn't let anyone discover that you are actually a Vo. So I can talk to Balara for fixing up the stuff that we got after the Divine Beast. That I think we actually broke, possibly. I think we might ha have the Daybreaker, I think, is the... Yeah, that's the Daybreaker is still good. But I think we also had a sword that we broke ages ago. So we could get that fixed if we wanted to. Um, oh, I could buy arrows, but I probably don't want to waste my rupees right now, since I need so many. I want to save them a little bit more. So I guess now... Um... I should do the 8th heroine. It's not part of the Gerudo Town uh, side quests, but... I mean, it's something. Ah, uh, fly from out of town, Savak. I wanted to plant an orchard, so I picked up trash and pulled the weeds. I tilled the ground. I did all the stuff you're supposed to do to make the soil happy, but, but, the trash. All this trash keeps getting washed down into the water trough, and now I, I can't use the water there anymore. If I can't use the water anymore, my orchard is doomed. The Mystery Polluter, which is what I was looking for ages ago and didn't know how to get it to activate. I guess I can do it now, but we already know most of what we need to do, since we already found the polluter. But what are we going to do to stop the polluter, is the question. I don't remember. What's with you? How can I enjoy my snack with you staring at me, huh? Buzz off. Actually, you're kind of ruining this person's day. Uh? What? Garbage? A small vi is having trouble. Oh, sure, you spring this out, uh, this on me out of nowhere and expect me to change my lifestyle. Well, no. I do what I want. Ah, mm? oh, don't look at me like that. Fine, fine, I get it. But I need something from you in return. Uh, altruism is for suckers. Just once, I'd like to eat a wild berry. You bring me a wild berry and I can... And and I can hold off on eating so many melons. Got it. Mm. Wild berries grow in the snowy areas of the Gerudo Highlands. Mm. It's a dangerous region, so the fruit is kind of rare and hardly ever shows up at market. Ah. Now that I think on it, there's barely a point uh, if you bring me one. Let's see. Yes, I'll need at least ten. This is kind of sad, actually, that you're polluting this water. And I'm going to explain why at some point soon. I haven't been thinking about uh, trash at all. Who can think while eat in a melon trance? I just can't believe the rinds I'm tossing are such a problem. It's all organic material, right? Well, anyway, I feel bad about the little Vi, but I'm going to need at least 10 wild berries if you want to stop me to stop. Berry delivery? Huh? Really? Yes, take them. <laughs> Sweetness! So that's a wild berry. It's delicious and no rind to toss. What a magical fruit. If I have these, I might just give up on other fruit entirely. But now I feel bad for the little Vi. Now that my craving's been satisfied, I realize just how horribly selfish I've been. Shame on me. I'm going to help clean up the trash. I've really caused a lot of trouble, but now I'm going to make it right. Sarkso. So I don't know if this is going to change anything right away. But I want to go back to the little fire and see how that's going. 
And then possibly teleport away and then teleport back. Probably. Hey, you, listen to this. Some other Vi I've never met before helped me clean up the trash. And now the water trough is completely back to normal. You told her about the trash, didn't you? Sucks so. Oh, and I got a hydromelon from the lady who cleaned it up. I'll share. It's a uh, Sakso for caring for about me. Get a hydromelon. Oh yeah, the lady who helped clean uh, gave me some wild berries. So now my field's gonna be a wild berry patch. It's a shame she couldn't think far enough to let this kid just grow more wild berries so she could eat more wild berries. <sighs> you can come eat the berries anytime you'd like. It'll be great. So there will be actual wild berries growing here. Which is so... She could have got infinite wild berries just by stopping it for like two seconds. But anyway, let me teleport away and then teleport back. Actually, here, let me go up the Gerudo Highlands. And then we'll come back to see how it's going yeah, after a little bit of exploring up there. And I think I could be wrong, but I think I saw some Koroks that might be on the map. Maybe, because there are a lot of these, like, ring dots, which are probably Koroks. So let me mark that there. Um, that's where we fought uh, Master Koga, so they don't need to go there. Um, I think there was another one up here. Yeah, there. Those dots there look like a Korok. We also want to go to this marker here. And probably a few other places if we can. Yeah, I don't know what's over here, but we'll look at that. So now, we need to adjust our equipment for a very cold climate. And also, snow boots if I can, so I can walk on the snow faster. So let's probably... Um, let me go towards the yellow and blue first, I think. I think that's what I'm going to go with. So let's go. Going to have to climb a few cliffs, but that's okay. So yeah, we're going to start exploring a region that we haven't had much of a look at so far. We went up to this tower ages ago, but then went back down again, and yeah, that, that's about been all that's been up here. That we've done. Let's keep going. I don't know what other secrets there are going to be up here, but I want to try and find some good stuff. How do I get these out of the way? Can I blow this up? No. Can I build up stuff? Can I build up stuff? If that makes any kind of sense. Oh dear, that not sure if that's good. Um, let me get rid of this. Send that flying away. And actually, I think if I build up enough momentum on this block, or this rock, I actually think I can get in here. But I don't think there's anything that important in here, and I'm breaking my ancient battle axe, so that's a shame. So yeah, I can get in here, but I don't know if there's anything that important in here to find. There's some weapons here, which I guess I should check to see if I've... Oh, I need to also delete all my pictures. Oh my goodness, it's been a while since we uh, deleted pictures and cleaned up again. Uh, looks like I've taken pictures of most of this. I haven't taken a picture of this though, so let's take a picture of that. Edge of Duality. And Moonlit Scimitar, okay. That's just a different looking edge of duality, I think. Or maybe it's just an edge of du duality and I just haven't taken a picture of one before. Anyway, that's all of that. And there's also some treasure chests here, so let's open these up. Opal. A gold rupee. And five bomberos. Pretty good stuff. Is there anything else in here that I need to worry about? I don't th think so. Yeah, it looks like I've got everything in this cave. 
It's just here if you need stuff, I guess. Let me quickly go up here, though, to see if there's anything up here that I... But I don't think there's going to be anything up here. But there could be, so I'm checking. Once I've checked, I probably won't accidentally go up here to check again. But I can't guarantee that because the world is just too hu too huge. I feel like there's something up there, though. So let me go up this way. A little bit more. Maybe there isn't anything up here. There's some wild berries here, though. So if you need wild berries for the quest in Gruda Town, there's some here. But anyway, let me go up here. Even though I don't really need to, since I'm going in a different direction soon enough. Oh, I need a boulder here. Or a snowball, I guess. If this is same thing, basically. I can pick up the snowball. Throw. Amazing. Please go in the hole, 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 please go in the hole. No, 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 stop. Oh dear, this is bad. I hope this goes where it needs to go. Oh dear, there it goes. That was a bad move. I'm going to mark this as a Korok because I'm not going to get this now. Since that snowball's going away further and further. Here's some more wild berries for the side quest. Just going to grab all these I can. And then I guess probably actually head towards my other markers that I said I was going to go towards. Obviously it's very cold here so I needed to have good cold resistance equipment before heading up this way. Oh, that's, that's tall. That's tall. Let me go over this way. And also having some more stamina is probably good so we can actually climb up these surfaces. Oh, that was a bad move. That's fine. I'll make it work. I've got the yellow still. And it's gone. Trying to jump up, jump up at the last minute doesn't work quite the same uh, when when you are got a yellow. But I guess it can work if you try to run out of green first and then use the yellow. Oh, there's the thing there. Oh, I don't know. Ah, uh, I don't know what. Uh, like ice crystal things have Koroks in them, but I do know that they can have them in them. Also, there's uh, Farouche, I'm pretty sure. Comes from around this way during the day, I think. Although it might be in different locations at different times and different days. Anyway, hopefully I can find more arrows at some point. There's also going to be a lot of chests just buried in the snow up here. Radiant shield, guard up, plus 13, but I'm going to leave that apparently. Let's go over to this ice block, which I think I've seen this ice block before, but I don't think it's a Korok. Oh, hello. It's a big ice block, though. It's really big, so I'm going to take a look at it. I'm also going to shock arrow this thing if I can. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Take care of that ice. What's it called? Uh, whiz robe. Time to get rid of this ice block though. Which may take some time unless I get out some firewood, which I've got some to use, so might as well. I can't hold that, come on. I can hold it, it's just cl too close to the ice block. That's better. And now instead of using my sword to make that expand, I can just make it expand using the fire that already exists. Oh, actually, this is an enemy. This is a moblin in here. Oh, well, I'll still take it out, I guess. I've already spent the resources on it. Oh, and the treasure chest as well, I guess. 
some ice arrows, okay. Get burned. Get burned. Get... Ow! Okay then. More ice blocks down here, but I don't think they're gonna have anything for me. Give me that ice rod, fire rod thing. Uh, I don't have any space. I don't have anything that I want to... Oh, I guess I'll just do this then. There we go. Fire rod, do your thing. Come on, fire rod, do, do your thing. Oh, that's, a, that's an enemy. You can actually see what's inside them sometimes. Ow! Burn. I think this is more enemies as well. If I can get this fireball lined up properly, I could probably get it to bounce in and out and stuff, but I'm not that good at getting stuff to work. Also, this fire rod's bad because it's going to break very quickly. Oh, it's five attack as well. Please, fire rod. Oh, is the fire actually out? I think the fire's out on the rod, so I think this rod's pointless now. Except it's... No, no, it's still working. There is an enemy in that, though. Um, this is pointless. Cool. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna grab this guts. I do need more moblin guts. No, what's it called? Bacoblin guts. For armors, so... Guess I can keep looking at that. Oh, hello. Uh, please don't. Ow. So I think from now on I'm just gonna get close up to the blocks of ice and then see if there's what's inside if I can. Looks like a treasure chest. That's a treasure chest. That's an enemy. Those are pebblets. Ow. Ow. Let me do this quickly. Because now I can't be frozen so I can actually pick these up and get rid of them. So that's useful. Except there are multiple, many of them. So I'm just gonna blow it up since that's still easier. Oh hey, that guy just died. Bang! There they go. I like taking out enemies like that. So what's in this smaller block? Is there anything in this smaller block? Possibly not. Also, apparently there's still an enemy around, which is possibly just the enemy inside of this block of ice. Oh no, there's those guys still. Which I guess if you shoot them head on, in the face, they actually die. Instantly. Oh hey, frozen porgy. That's interesting. To find in that ice block. There are so many ice blocks and I don't want to unmelt them all. Even though it, all it takes is just standing next to them with a flame blade. I still don't want to do anything about them. This one's a lot smaller so I'm going to check what's inside of it. It could be just more materials. Hopefully I'm not breaking my sword by doing this. Okay, cool. There's nothing. <laughs> I needed to stop thinking about these ice blocks as Koroks. Because it's, n it's only been that once, I think. This is a strong guy. I'm going to take him out quickly. If I can actually hit him in the face. And not miss. There we go. Guess I'll take his ice rod. Lizard rod thing. Now what is in this ice block? Because it's a big ice block. Looks like it's an enemy. Yeah. I can hear the dragon now. Just gonna drop that there. I guess I can unfreeze blocks while I'm doing something else. Some bomb arrows. Works for me. Uh, where's the dragon? If I can actually shoot that, that'd be good. Although I don't know if I can actually get up anymore. I think the updraft's gone. That's fine. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, it's just straight up there. I don't know if I can reach that far with this bow. Maybe with the falcon bow? 
Oh, so close. Please. Nope. That's a shame with about those shock arrows are just going away. Look like shooting stars. Okay, I'm gonna keep moving then. I might actually go up here, probably. Actually, no, there's a little path here I can go through. And there's the dragon still. Do I have any other arrows? I've got ice arrows. But it's too far away now to actually get the dragon from here. That's a shame. There's a lot of treasure chests over in this direction, so... Oh, hello. But I also need specific parts from the dragon now. I need... I need the... the horn from the dragon. Also, there's a cork nearby. No. Shrine. That one. Okay, that's a enemy. Can I actually... Can I actually, like... Oh, I can actually get those without having to go absolutely insane. So if you don't get close to those fake ones, you can just blow them up, I guess. That's another one. Oh my goodness. Why are you like this? Why are you like this? Oh my goodness. I don't like these Octoroks. I'm gonna actually head towards this shrine. So I actually get something done. And it's not where I marked anything, so... Well, so I'm pretty sure that these enemies can't actually ever hit me properly with their arrows, which means I can grind arrows off of them if I wanted to. Shrine! Oh, is it over this bit here? Please don't be fake! Okay, good. Anyway, here's the shrine. But anyway, I think that's it for this episode. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time.